What's going on YouTube? Mr. 1013 here with another review. This time we're going to check out Jada Toys Mega Man Wave 1 Fireman. He came along with uh, Iceman and Mega Man in this wave and we are looking forward to seeing Elect Man and Cut Man in Wave 2 a little bit later. But let's jump right into it. So um, out of the three figures that came in Wave 1, I believe Fireman is going to be my favorite. Um, out of the three, it was real close between him and Iceman. Um, but I just love the, the way the this red is hitting on his gray um i love his accessories his projectiles which they've been doing a real great job with doing like with the clear pla clear plastic and just add like that color to it i think these flames look really good um on this guy as well so i mean just taking a closer look at him again we have a matte um, paint on the face and the eyes as well and we have like this kind of uh, semi-gloss gray um black paint in between in the vents we got the yellow hits here on each side um on the back you get a yellow um uh, uh, uh triangle I, I can't think of what this is called but um but we got green vents going down the back and then we also got the green power bar going on in the back right here uh scrolling down again you just got all gray with like a semi-gloss uh red almost ha almost has like a metallic look paint job to it has like a little shimmer in there it looks like but it has a, it's, all the figures though um not very heavy but they they got a nice weight to them it, it's quality here you know what i mean it's a, it's it's nice quality within these figures um articulation wise head does a full 360 up and down just like head and neck articulation well i think that is with all the figures as well um with this arms do go up go up in out this is not hindering anything at all it actually has a little bit of flexibility right there at the shoulder so um articulation is pretty good there has a uh he has some waist movement right there you can twist at the hips as well no hinge legs twist at the thigh at the upper thigh bends at the knees and the pivot and rocker of the foot is there as well now fireman didn't come with any hands he just came with all flame accessories so he does not have any hands but the cool thing about it is that all the flames are interchangeable so you can take this flame out put this flame in for like a water flame and pop that right there on the top and the only one that doesn't fit this one doesn't fit really because the flame actually comes down so let's see if we can get it to pop in there so you can get it it doesn't fit perfectly in there but i mean if you just got them staged i mean i'm pretty sure that's that's cool you can just have them um with a more of a ponytail flame going on right there uh so we'll take that out he also came with another head sculpt as well he came with the side eye head sculpt which is this one so if you want them at the three-quarter pose, you know what I'm saying? Let's pop this off real quick. Pop that one on. It's a ball joint right up under there. There we go. So if you want them with the, you know, kind of looking at you with the side eye, you could pop on that head sculpt as well. Uh, I wish his eyes were straightforward on that one, though, because it got a, it has a, a a little bit more menacing look on, on the side eye, this one, versus this one. You can see, you can tell how the... Um, the visor or the top of the mask comes down and just gives his eyes a little bit more anger but hey it's still pretty good so um seeing that he does come with again like all the other figures two head sculpts can he comes with the, the flame accessories he also comes with another flame accessory which is this one and of course he comes with the stand just like the other figures did as well where you pop that in and you pop where is the I just seen, oh here it is. You can pop the flame right on there as well. So that's pretty cool, man. These figures are really good. Like I said on the Mega Man video, I always wanted to collect a good Mega Man, um, Mega Man series. And these figures, like I said, they're twenty dollars a pop. I think that's well worth it. You get a lot of accessories, two head sculpts, you get stands, you know what I mean? Uh, paint drops, paint quality looks really good on them. I mean, we spent $20 on, you know, 
any other thing, but <laughs> uh, let's get to let's look at the box real quick before we wrap it up. Up close here, we get Fireman, and with the artwork, it kind of bleeds onto the other side, which is pretty dope. Uh, Fireman down here, Mega Man on both sides. Got the power bar right there. Mega Man at the top. On the back, we get us. Um, we get to see all three. This time, Fireman is in the middle. Again, you get um, the figure that's coming up later on. The rest of the robot bosses: one, two, three, four, five, six. It's still missing two more because there's always eight robots um, bosses. But I think we missed two more: one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Um, Elect Man, Bomb Man, Cuts Man, Guts Man, and it just is like real simple, you know. Um, that is pretty much it. Again, the only thing I wish we had we could have is um, the eight bit versions of the of the characters on the side instead of all Mega Man. But besides that, this is Fireman again. I think this is. Oh, let me check. Let me show you guys the other. Uh, this is Mega Man next to Fireman when it comes to like the height differential. So he is just maybe the same height. We just got this extra uh <laughs> bit of flame just giving them um about another inch but they pretty much the same size figure um again the quality is look just looks really good on these guys um i'm loving them i'm loving them. i'm interested in, in the uh series and then i'm gonna be invested in the wave for these figures as well but again i appreciate you guys for coming through checking out this review um, continue to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Until then, peace.